and your tax information this year could be drastically different than how it looked last year. The effects of the pandemic, it will make this a unique tax season for many, many filers. Accountant and business strategist Marquita Miller Joshua is joining us live from KCTV 5's tax phone bank with tips to help navigate tax time. We need all the tips. Yeah, Marquita, we see those phones have been ringing since 9 o'clock when the lines open. What are some common questions that you're getting this morning? Unemployment, unemployment, oh. unemployment. Yep. So yes, the people are a little bit, um, they were not aware that they would have to pay taxes apparently on the unemployment. They thought that this was not something that would increase, impact their tax returns. And so some of them are thinking, can they not leave the, take the, put the, put the information on their taxes, but you do need to file it. Unemployment is taxable. And by opting to not put it on there, what will happen is you'll get a tax notice later in the summer where the IRS will have to update your tax return and then you'll owe the taxes plus penalties and interest. So you certainly want to put the unemployment taxes on there. That has been a popular question this morning. Unemployment is taxable um, to, to you. And how to get the tax, how to get the unemployment tax form has been the other thing. Right. However you were communicating with the unemployment office and many people are online, then you're able to retrieve that unemployment form off of the online portal. Okay, and then uh, that's great information. Two more questions that I'm just assuming people are going to have today. Stimulus checks. One, is that taxable? And then two, what if based on 2020 you qualified, but in 2019 you didn't, which is what they went off of, will you ever get one down the road? So great, great question. So with, for the stimulus, it is not taxable, but your tax professionals are going to ask you, did you receive stimulus one, stimulus two, and how much? And the reason they're asking that question is because they want to make sure that you got the right amount. And if you're due more income, if you're due more of a stimulus, then they can get that for you. So just the example you gave, Joe, from the standpoint of in 19, you didn't qualify, but in 2020, you do, then guess what? You're going to get a stimulus payment <laughs> on your taxes and so that's a great surprise that some people are running into good deal they need to remember that that's important right. it is important so you do want to share that information sometimes people are like no i don't want you to put tax on it They're, your tax professionals are not asking to add taxes on they're asking to make sure that you got the right amount because they're doing a reconciliation for you so that is very important some really great information this morning marquita thank you you're going to be back with us at noon today for more answers to all these great questions everyone has absolutely all right we'll see you then have a great rest of your morning it Thank is 941 you. and keep those calls coming, right? Yes. So the tax hotline, it's open right now. KCTV5 stands for you. Call the number on your screen with any question you have until 1230 this afternoon. Those tax experts will be also back here tomorrow with the same hours. So lots of questions, lots of times to get them answered. And that information is being provided by third party volunteers. So not the station. All of the discussions are at the caller's own risk.